What's up everybody, welcome back to my laboratory where safety is number one priority and today I'm gonna show you 10 tricks, science tricks that you can do at home. Let's check this out. For this experiment we're gonna need two forks, a cork, marble and a bottle. First thing we're going to do, grab a cork and stab these two forks right in the cork like that. Then we're gonna bring the bottle up. Also what you can do, bounce these two forks on the edge of the bottle with a little marble in, right on top of it, of the bottle. Pretty incredible, what do you guys think? Thumbs up for this one. For this experiment I got four marbles and hot glue. I'm gonna glue them up, put some hot glue and hold them together like that. So one. Two, just like that, next to each other. And the third one, just like that. You see they glued up, looks like pretty good. Now what we got is a little pyramid like that. But if we put it like this way and spin it, it's just gonna spin like that. How awesome is that? And boom, try it yourself, really easy and a lot of fun, thumbs up. For this experiment again we're going to need aluminum foil roll or copper pipe, sticky notes or a piece of paper and a lighter, let's check this out. So first what I'm gonna do is put aluminum foil into a paper like that and lift it up. And now I'm gonna grab a lighter and try to light it on paper. Let's check this out. Hold it up like that and let's see if the paper is gonna get on fire. Guess what? Nothing. Why does the paper does not get on fire? It just turns really dark. Like look on this side. Look how dark it is. But it, it's not really set, setting on fire. Why is that? Pretty incredible, right? Look at this. But on this side, nothing. Well, what happened is aluminum foil, if you touch it, it feels pretty warm to the touch and it absorbs all the heat. That's why paper does not burn off. Same thing will happen if you grab sticky note and a pipe, it's just not gonna burn. You see, copper pipe absorb all the heat. I can put all the flame into the sticky note and it just will not burn. Pretty insane, huh? So now, you see how black it is right here, but on the other side, nothing. For this experiment, I need a glass of water. Fill it up a little bit with uh, olive oil. Something like that, not too much. So I got water and olive oil out here. Now I'm gonna grab sugar and start pouring like that, right into the olive oil, just a little bit at that time. And wait till it sinks. Boom, just like that. And boom. You see how you're gonna have this cool bubbles going up and down. That's it, that's all we want, not too much sugar. And boom, it's gonna go now up and down. Bloop. So here's a cool science stick. We're gonna light up the candles and then I'm gonna turn on the fan and put it over the candles. You see, it's pretty windy 
candles does not blow off. But what if I block the wind with the jar? Candles went off. How does it work? Pretty insane, huh? For this experiment, I'm gonna grab one of these bottles, any kind of container, and grab saran wrap, or like this kind of thing. And then I'm just gonna put it on a bottle or some kind of con container, just like that, make sure this part is tight. So then I'm gonna grab a rubber band and just double check so it's tight. And then I'm going to grab toothpick and make bunch of holes. Now I grab this little paper, going to flip it upside down, get all the liquid down and then let it go. And it's going to leak at first a little, but then it should stop completely. If I move it, it will pull a lot. If I do this sideways, it will pull a lot. You see? But if I keep it upside down like that, it will stop drip. Pretty incredible, huh? Why it's not dripping? All these holes, you see, it just, just stays there. Here's a cool experiment you can do with a penny. How many drops will the penny will hold? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So 20 drops, why is it not spilling out? Looks like there is a lot of water on a very little coin. Looks like it's supposed to spill out. How does it work? So let's drop a few more drops in it. Boom, and it spill out. I actually did it 25 drops. Try it yourself and how many drops can you do? For this experiment, I'm gonna grab aluminum foil roll, pretty thick one over here. And I'm gonna drop neodymium magnet in there, and let's see what happens. Boom! It's levitates inside of it. If I drop a marble, it just fall too real quickly. But if I throw a magnet, and it slows down inside of a pipe. Why is that? You can also do that with a copper pipe. It's actually even better. If I throw a little metal ball. You see how it flies out really quickly. But if I turn the little neodymium magnet, you see how long it gets stuck. And if I get a, a little bigger neodymium magnet, it's gonna get stuck in the levitates there even longer. Boom, you see that? Pretty amazing. You see, it kind of stops in there. Why is that? What does the aluminum foil does to the magnum? So first thing we're gonna do is blow up the balloon. About this big. So what we're gonna do is grab some kind of fur ball and rub it on a firm. Just like that. To get that static electricity. As you can see, I don't have any air here, so I'm gonna use Luke to get that static electricity. Good boy, Luke, good boy. I think he likes it. What do you guys think? Look, you like it? Anyways, I think it's static enough. Now I'm gonna move over here. Now I'm gonna turn on the water and look how from far away it's already trying to attract and some of the drops even flying into the balloon. Look how crazy it is. Your ice cream, your toothpick, there you go, ice cream cubes. 